Hello there and welcome to City Skyline. This is the town of T Twinford, episode 2. As you can see our little bustling town is growing quite happily. We have little services. We have to actually look at some new services sometime soon, but everything is looking pretty good. Our commercial area is filling up a little bit much, so let's... Yeah, we're going to have to expand soon and we have actually got the ready for expansion. So let's start immediately. Uh, let's start by expanding out from this area. Um, let's see, I want to go one way road in the right direction as well this time. Uh, that way. And I want to go out two notches for the housing and whatnot. So we have, what we've done here, we've gone, let's put the place. We've done two notches plus three. Oops, that would allow us. Uh, Let's put that down there. Does that actually make a difference? May they, will they use that? I don't know. We'll find out. So, our spacing. Oops, close the road tool. The spacing we've been using so far is basically two full housing blocks plus one, two, three, four places. That allows us the gap either side plus the road going across. So, let's do the same here. Two plus three. I did say two plus three, didn't I? Uh, Two plus three, yes. Two plus three to there. And this one goes that way. Okay, so we're going to have to do the crossroad now. So the crossroad will run all the way down the city. Right to the end. And then we can run the one ways through to there. And that's the wrong way, is it? Nope, that's the right way. And that one comes in. That way, and then that one must go out. That way, yeah, that's correct. Now we're in a little one-way loop, basically, on these uh, main artery rolls feeding in and out. Uh, making sure they're all the right way. Good, we are good on those. Now we can start putting... I just realised this actually... Uh... Yeah, that's right, that's right. This road here should really, really never be touched. That's kind of the plan of it. Uh, I'll probably actually... Actually... That road doesn't even need to be there because I'm going to have them, have them touching each other. That can come out. And come out. And that can come out. And that was a bad idea on my end. Because really, uh, the way we're going to do it is have the roads coming out like that. So if I want to go two only, we need to move up one, two, three spaces. So the road, this road here. Let's move that a minute. You need to go up three spaces. One. Two. Oh, three spaces. Look at that. Yeah. Right. So if we then come here and pull that off to there, they're very close to each other. We have a nice little gap between them. Like that. So we, they're not going to connect so they don't get traffic going down them. That is the plan of the road. So they can bulldoze this road because I should have done this right the first time round. And do the crossroad going around. And then to there as well. And now the power cable's been severed, so we're just going to pause the game. Because they'll start complaining about the lack of power. And we'll actually demolish the power line entirely. Uh, because we're going to be building housing and stuff, and the houses can reconnect the city. So before I forget, let's dezone these housing here. Replace them with commercial. Because we're doing that so that. Uh, the pollution from the industrial doesn't make it over to the housing. There we go. Well, it reduces the chance of it making it over, and this is going to be new housing over here. So, back to the roads. Road tool. We'll do more side roads going down here. And we'll stop them short like that at all times. Good. And that one as well. Good. And the final one this strict. Oop. Not quite a religion. There we go. There we go. One more. Oh, there we go. And then we do the same for the... Uh, Nice commercial district we're going to have here. And then we have a nasty uh, industrial district here. Oop. And that one. Go across to there. And that can run down to there. There we go. That's our new industrial area and commercial and housing. Loads of housing. Loads and loads of housing. Um, and we'll actually we'll take the opportunity. We've got the cash. We'll build out two squares this way as well. We'll do this with all the roads. So we've got the actual housing built fully. Two notches. 
this little grid next that we're doing now, it's only like I said, it's only a temporary measure. Because we will actually have some nice windy roads and ones that look pretty nice actually. There we go. And that one missed one there. There we go. Right, so that's a nice housing and industrial area. We'll make sure that uh, power cable should be okay. Water is borderline. This last uh, cell will be an issue, I believe. So let's run the pipe just to make sure we don't miss anybody out when it comes to time. Uh, we'll do the same on the industrial side of things as well. There we go. Uh, water to fine. Are we probably going to need more power? Yes, we're going to need more power. Power. Not enough money. We need 6,000 for power. Okay, well, power is something we can add when needed, which is not going to be for very long before it's needed. Let's get rid of these excess bits of road. There we go. Uh, oops, wrong one. And we can start zoning. So let's start zoning, first of all. Let's get the commercial down. And we'll do that there. And we'll do that there. And then we get the... Uh, that's industrial, sorry. Then the commercial goes there. And then loads of housing. All along there. Good. And then we remove that one tile all around the main road. So they don't build on the main road. And so everything down. And then we come over here and realize with these ones here. Good. Good, they haven't built up to the main road. And that's a whole new expansion. That's a lot of expansion there. Now we're going to be needing schooling and police. We don't really need police. I Fire safety is high, but the police at crime rate is 6%. So for now, we're actually okay for crime. Uh, school, we, we will need another school because that coverage isn't going to cover all the houses up here. But we don't have the cash right now for it, do we? No. We need money for build pretty much anything, actually. Yeah, we can't build anything of importance. But what we can do is... What's that? Nope, not them. Yeah, so what we can do is pretty much wait for the game. So let's let the game progress. And all the houses here, look at them, all now wanting power. They're all complaining about it. Which they will get power as soon as they build into this area. So if you guys could uh, build up here, guys. Up here. Guys. Okay, one of those ones, is it? Power cables. We'll build down to here. Because that is an area where they're going to build up to eventually. I will do it here as well because we know that they're not going to put any uh, housing in those areas because there's no zones there. But they have to build up to it. You come on, guys. You you have to build up. You can't make me do all the work for you. You're going to make me do all the work for you, aren't you? God. What kind of an idiot builds a house and there's no power cable and then complains there's no power cable? Let's run the power cable down to this side road here where there's nothing. Now this is something I really really like. Watch all these little uh, power bubbles. Play. And <laughs> whoa, we have a fire, and we don't have a fire station. No, we do. We have a fire station. Sorry, that's healthcare. Fire station, no fire station. Police station, no police station. We could really do with the money for a fire station. Oh well, I am so sorry, but your house is going to burn down. Your 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 convenience store is going to burn down. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's a delivery as well. Oh, we keep an eye on you for a second, and we can uh, bulldoze the uh, remains afterwards. Building is on fire. Be there for a while. Housing is building up nicely. We have power cables complaining, which we can get rid of because we don't need them anymore. There we go. We have one shop up here. We're doing some people to bridge that gap would be nice. I can get rid of that power cable we're in. Well, I might actually leave it in there. That fire is still burning quite ferociously. And the fire's gone. So, bulldozer, get rid of the remains. And the people like the fact that I did that. And the reason why they like that is because they go, hey, that's not devaluing our land anymore. And we're getting power problems already. Yep, we need 24 megawatts exactly. And if they build any more property, they'll need more. So, up on this hill, we're going to build another power supply. Let's get this one right back here if we can. Eight, seven, eight. There we go. That's another bit of power for you guys. What's the power level now? 32. So you've got a bit of spare power. You guys could... Oh, we've got another fire. For God's sake. Multiple problems. Yes. One of which is the fact that... Ugh. One of the things is they haven't got enough employees. That's what they, need. That's what they have. And that's what they want. 
different education levels, but they're also buildings on fire, which uh, doesn't help them either. But I can't help you with that, because I would need 12,000 for a fire station. Uh, what's our loan situation like anyway? Yeah, so we already have a loan out anyway. We have 15,000 left to pay, so I'm not going to take out another loan just to build a fire station. Okay, got another fire. We're going to have to take a loan to pay, get a fire station. 60,000. I didn't want a loan, but you're making me have one. I hope you're going to be happy with this. Now, houses don't burn down that often. It's mostly the industrial, so we're going to put the fire station down nearer the housing. But we're going to place it uh, on one of these main feeder roads, I believe. Uh, feeding in, that one there. Perfect. That one there feeds in. So we put the fire department there on that feeder road. Uh, there. Maybe not on the feed road itself, on the side here. Yeah, because we get a bit of decent coverage put there. It's on the main road, but there won't be blocking traffic that often. Go for it. Fire station! Now, again, what's our police is. With crime, it's 9%. So I'm going to actually put a police station down. I'm going to place it right at the end of the road here. Because uh, they go that way, don't they? So I'm going to place it right here, because you can see how the traffic makes a big difference. I'm going to place the police station here. I'm actually going to place it right on this edge corner, uh, so when we build stuff later on, it doesn't get in the way of things. Uh, there. Police station, and everyone's happy. Great, good. Uh, let's see, education is... We could do with a bit more education. We've got the loan, so we might as well take it out now. We'll put this school here on this main road. That's where housing's going to be, so, you know, keep with the plan, keep with the plan. Um, healthcare is pretty good, actually. We don't need any, uh, we have no sick people, so we can leave the, we don't need another hospital. Garbage collection is okay, but 3% landfill capacity. So we don't need to build anything else. Uh, education. That's going to double to 600 when that is built. And now we have some of these unique buildings. We can actually build some little nice things. We have the Statue of Wealth, which uh, creates noise pollution. That's nice of it. And we have the Statue of Shopping. It's not bad. We, we could put the Statue of Shopping in the shopping district over here. But see, wow, look at the size of that uh, happiness. I mean, it's got a tiny amount of noise uh, pollution, that tiny little orange circle. But the green areas, the amount of people it makes happy. Right, okay, I want to build one of those later on, but we want uh, just to save the cash a little bit. We uh, are making money, but we need to just build up a little bit. Right, so we have here, we have a house burnt down here. Bulldoze that. That little symbol means burnt down. Uh, these two are on fire, but over here we have our firemen putting out a fire. How cute. Little fire engines, firemen with hoses, rain water. And then when they put that out, if they're lucky, this fire... Oh, they actually flipped that one already. Oh, we have four fire engines went out at the time. They did pretty good, actually. Nothing has burnt down since they came into it. Nope, we are doing pretty good. That little ding, by the way. Ding, 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 ding. That's the people getting uh, promoted, levelling up the housing and stuff. We've actually also become a tiny town now. How are we doing good? We can now do decoration, which is parks and stuff, which we are going to do, because I always forget. And we can do the level 2 unique buildings. That's the ones we looked at a minute ago with the statues. Because of the parks and decoration, we can now do uh, smoking bands if we want, which we're not going to do. And we can do pet bands, which we're not going to do. I mean, who would ban pets, really? Oh. But we can now build the high school as well. And that would really help our people. And we've got all these new areas here we can build. So, let's have a look at education. And we can now build the high school. Now, I've been waiting to have this. That's one of the reasons why I didn't spend any money early on. I want to build the high school. I'm going to build it there. It's got a pretty decent coverage of the uh, city. doesn't make it to these houses here, but, you know, they have to live with something. Um, I could put it there, but... Yeah, you see, if I put it there, we get to most places, but didn't get all. I put it there. That's actually a really good place. There. I mean, that guy didn't like it. I just knocked his new house down, but, uh, you know, there we go. We have a high school. We also have a police station with no power. Um, power. You have power. Oh, our, our power supply is low. Okay. 
Uh, we are going to need something a bit more substantial than this at some point. Wind turbines are, all good, although good, they're not uh, the best power supply. I don't really want to be cooling because it'll just pollute the area. And spin. There we go. And they do seem to track the uh, day. Whether they're tracking the wind or whether it's just a rotation, I don't know. But look at that pollution now from our waste uh, thing. What's our waste scenario? Well, we're doing good on that. Power's okay. Garage is doing okay. But there we go. We'll speed her up. Get things building. We have demand for things, people. Uh, what's our zoning like, by the way? We have shops over here that are not being built, which means we're not f at full capacity yet. But that city is looking pretty nice. It's looking nice. It's a, it's a box shape, but that's uh, early and it's the maximum efficiency for time. Uh, most of our garbage trucks are actually in, so we're not too busy in garbage. And there comes a lot of cars. And there goes one going all the way down. Is he going to make a turn here? He's not. He's going all the way down to the bottom and he's going to go up this road. There he goes. Wow. We are getting a, we are getting a bit of traffic down the road now. No congestion problem. Let's just check out the, our uh, traffic congestion or well, busyness. Yeah, they're saying this bit here is busy, but that's because that's the main road for all these workers. So we're doing quite good. These one-way roads are really helping keep it to a minimum. Uh, general health of our people is pretty good, actually. We have a fire over here, by the way. I just noticed there's a symbol for it. Uh, we have a clinic here. They're, not, they're saying they don't have clinic coverage, although an ambulance will be dispatched to them if needed. Uh... Death care is minimal. Well, we don't do death care yet, do we? No, we don't get any death care capabilities. We any new buildings yet? Not in this area, no. But we can put parks in. And I think we'll start putting parks in early, because I do tend to forget them. So what do we have available? We have, what's this? A pavement path. And a gravel path. Oh, we can do footpaths. Nice. And we have trees. So we could actually put a footpath down this uh, section here. Create a little walkway down to the shops. Ooh, I like that. That's not a good idea. Um, from there down to there, and then from there down to there, and then you can get to the shops. You can do it as well. That is actually a nice idea. Ah, yeah. we'll do that up here when we get around to that as well. Uh. Parks, 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 park, park. So what have we got? We have a small park, a small playground, and trees. But if that's a small park, then what's that? Park with trees. What's that one then? That one is a large playground. That one is a picnic plaza with picnic tables and basketball. Okay. So. I say here next to the school we have a basketball court. There we go. And we do a small park over here, which is nowhere near small. Uh, oh, it just fits in there though. Boom, there we go. That should keep people fairly happy. I mean, I mean, basketball court near the school, near the high school, keep them, uh, people can play, got pedestrians walking around here. Our little footpaths, people are using the footpaths. <gasps> People are using our footpath. How amazing is that? Look at that, it's gorgeous. Can we put his every crossing there? Probably not, actually. And people were walking down to work. Wow. I wasn't actually expecting to see people on the footpath just yet. I thought they might have to take a bit of time first. Oh, cuteness. Please get doing a U-turn there. Yeah, okay. We are needing more housing, but we have housing spaces, so build. Move in, people. Bill, we want you. Yeah, so now these houses here, these are going to get a lot of noise pollution from this road. Let's have a look at the noise pollution. That's the commercial area that we have built up earlier. That's the industrial and commercial zone there. There's some housing. You see, we've moved them away from the commercial. We're still getting a lot of noise from the traffic. We'll actually... Take the opportunity. We can't do it. This one here, but actually, one-way road with trees actually uh, reduces the noise pollution. Um, we can actually upgrade these roads, but these are six-lane roads. We don't need those yet. It produce a lot of noise. These are four-lane roads. Don't need them either. They will cause a bit of disruption. It might actually be good. It might be bad, but we'll ignore them. What's that? 
We have a drugstore there. Hello. Uh, none of our fire engines are in use. Uh, where's our clinic? Uh, that one. Uh, none of our ambulances are in use. Our school is at half capacity. Our other school is over half capacity. And our police station has all its cars in patrols. Good. Uh, the four people have visited the basketball court recently. Uh, the main park has had five visitors. People are actually on the benches now. Look, they're doing their daily uh, sandwich eat run. Yeah, it's looking quite nice. Looking quite nice. Traffic is looking good. I, like, I do like the uh, on-street parking. We have a fire. And we have a fire engine. Are they actually knocking the house down during the fire? Okay, renovate the... They built a fire. <laughs> Alright. There comes a whole bunch of vehicles coming in to our um, lovely town. And I love this part. This game actually models the uh, traffic properly. So that lorry there, he's actually going to that shop there. And if he gets delayed, that shop can actually go out of business. So they actually model the traffic and everything. Also, another little thing for you to notice. There's lovely green grass here. And right down the far end, look at that grey mud. That is the pollution from the industry. It makes the grass go grey and okay. Also, if I can place a tree, you'll do just nicely. Tree, green. But there, and it's got like a reddish glow to it. It's not nowhere near as green as that. It actually, uh, the more pollution, the more red the trees go. So that's an interesting little uh, side bit to it as well. Let's beat it back up again. And um, keep going. We've got another fire down here. The firemen are dealing with it. Our fire station is... It is. Not that one. No. Go. Oh, wait. Fire station. Where art thou? You're the school. You're the medical clinic. That makes you the firehouse. There we go. Two of our fire engines are actually out on calls right now. So we don't even need a new fire station. Yeah, it's looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. Uh, I do like it, it's looking good. We will expand one more time this way, I think, and then we'll, over here we'll do some curly roads and stuff. But we are in need of more power. Power. Da -da 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 -da. What have we got? Can we put two C? Eight megawatts. Boom. 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 Three power supplies. And go. And now we've got Boomtown. Now, this is this is something we're going to be doing in the next episode. We're going to end it now. We're going to be doing this. We're going to set up bus routes. Early bus routes. That's what we're going to be doing. Yeah. And we can even do ore. We can actually look to see if we have any ore in the area for uh, mining. We can do recycling to reduce the amount of uh, waste we produce. Recreational use drugs, I believe that is. Yep. Which uh, increases the police budget by 15%, which in real life we probably would do. Because you'd be able to get tax from it and the police wouldn't be spending money chasing it down. We also have new road types which we will not be touching these because we'll build our own if we need to build them. Oh, that's quite nice though. Uh, we have the highway, that's great. That highway could be very useful to us. And the ramp obviously on and off the highway. Oh, and we have the advanced wind turbine. Now they cost more, but they produce a lot more power. And we have a cemetery. So we've got a lot of stuff to start building next episode. Uh, we've got some new unique buildings there. We have some achievements being done. But in general, we are doing quite nice. This is a brand new, lovely city. So this is Twinsville. Oh, Twinsville, uh, Twinford. So from all the people of Twinford, I say thank you for coming down. We'll see you next episode. And comments in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll uh, see you next time. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing.